What does it really mean to be affectionate in your relationship? Do you feel that you are affectionate towards your partner? Are they affectionate towards you? Let's explore the value of that today on the podcast. This is the Strength of Seduction podcast, the number one resource for black couples who want to build intimacy, love, and connection in their relationship. I'm your host, Daniel DiPiazza. My friends, welcome back to the Strength of Seduction podcast, the number one resource for black couples who want to build intimacy, love, and connection in their marriage. I'm your host, Daniel DiPiazza. If you're new here and you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for updates. If you're listening to this on your favorite podcast platform like Apple or Spotify, make sure to subscribe and leave a review. We have an incredible episode for you today about the value of affection in your relationship and how you can create more of it. Uh, Before we dive in today, we do have a special offer for you, though. Strength of Seduction is opening up free 30-minute coaching sessions to any podcast listener who wants to build more health, wealth, and intimacy into their relationship. And on the call, we'll take you through our Relationship Health Booster. This is a 30-minute session designed to help you uncover the strengths and find the biggest opportunities for growth in your marriage. And you can get a 30-minute coaching session absolutely free. You go to strengthofseduction.com forward slash coaching. And uh, you can just fill out a very short application and then book a time with one of our coaches on our calendar. Spots are limited, though. This is not like a marketing employee. They truly are limited. We only have a few coaches. Uh, We do go pretty deep. And um, I think you're really going to enjoy getting a lot of benefit from this. So check out strengthofseduction.com forward slash coaching to learn more. The link will also be in our show notes. Now, before we get into today's episode, I wanted to highlight a few things. The first thing is congratulations to the whole community on just recently hitting a thousand members inside of the Strength of Seduction private community. What is the Strength of Seduction private community, you ask? Well, that is a great question. You see, Strength of Seduction is not just about the workouts. No, no, no. We're about the community and really about bringing together a place where people can come together and talk about the health of their marriage, the health of their their family, the ways that they're building each other up, the ways that we're developing ourselves in, as individuals and as couples. And of course, like there's just not really any places to do this online for black couples. So that's what we have inside the Strength of Selection community. And if you are a customer of Strength of Selection, someone who's purchased one of our workouts, then you have free access to that community and you'll have gotten access to that uh, via our email list. So if you're on our email list, you'll get access to that community. Just click on any of the links you'll see there and you can get access to that community for free where you get to have our programs. You get to talk with everyone else who's a part of uh, the community. You get to come to our free classes. You get to uh, just see what we're doing and connect with people who are on the same journey as you. So make sure you join the community. Congrats to everyone who helped us make it to 1,000. Can't wait to see you at 2,000, 5,000, 10,000. And today, we're talking about the value of uh, the value of affection in your relationship. And I think that really, this is a really a cornerstone of intimacy when it comes down to it. I think that oftentimes, as relationships go further and further down the road, you know, 10, 20 plus years, I think sometimes we do forget that affection is such an important part of maintaining that warm connection with your partner, you know, physical touch, verbal expressions, acts of kindness. These are all forms of affection that we should be actively showing our partners because honestly, give and you'll get. That's how you get more of it. And there are just so many psychological aspects and emotional benefits to showing affection in the relationship. And not everyone is going to have the same needs in terms of, you know, how much how many words of affirmation someone needs or how much physical touch they need, but everyone has some sort of need for affection. And so we should be thinking about that, uh, you know, in terms of what we need, what our partner needs. You know, there's a lot of research that shows that, that there's like a scientific biological benefit to having an affectionate and warm relationship, you know, on stress levels, on happiness, on relationship satisfaction. Uh, It actually creates a safer nervous system or will feel more well-adjusted and mentally and emotionally balanced when we have physical affection in our relationship. And I mean, it can even lower your blood pressure and enhance your immune system functioning. You know, it really is very powerful when you have a sense of physical affection in your relationship and it feels warm. And um, I think one of the things about affection is that in terms of intimacy, when it comes to creating that sexual spark, so much of it has to be created outside of just the bedroom. You know, you have to be able to have that physical touch that isn't just about sex and also just really enjoy of being around each other and being holding each other and, you know, spending that time together in really close proximity and just enjoying each other's company, joyful togetherness, they could call it. And I think that those are great ways of of showing affection and they also lead to 
intimacy. And, and I think that's really important to remember. Like it's all on a spectrum and part of, it's all, it all goes together. And in terms of just communication, I think that affection, sometimes a strong hug, a great hug can go a lot further to explain your feelings for someone than just your words can alone. So affection is also a very valuable tool for communication. And listen, you know, not everyone has the same communication style when it comes to, to affection. Some people are going to have just blocks from their upbringing and their, you know, how their family expressed themselves. And not everyone's going to have the same openness to, you know, to needing uh, like physical affection or words of encouragement or affirmation. Like I was saying, everyone has their own, you know, their own level of need with that. But I think that at least understanding where your partner is, is such a good start in being able to at least help to fulfill their needs and also to express your own as well. But there's lots of things you can do. I mean, just for guys, uh, when you're in the house, putting your hand on the small of your partner's back or, you know, for the women, just going and giving your, you know, your partner a hug, you know, and this can go both ways. It's not like a, it has to be a heterosexual only one way type of thing, but it's just like your partner, you know, in general, just like showing them physical affection when you're in the home, calling them by their pet name, sending them, you know, loving glances, uh, you know, giving them massage, uh, helping them out, you know, when they're uh, sick, you know, these are all just like affectionate things, you know, um, rubbing their head, rubbing their shoulders, you know, making them food, dropping them off at their lunch if they forget it at work. Like, you know, these are all just affectionate things that you can do for someone that involve you, you know, like just being physically present for them there and being nice and being kind. You know, these all sound like, oh, everyone knows to do that. But sometimes we kind of just forget in the hustle and bustle of, you know, trying to get the kids to school and trying to get to work and trying to pay the bills and trying to, you know, take the dogs out and all this different stuff. And it's just important to remember that these are the types of things that just underpin a healthy relationship. And it's so funny. It's like, you can think of it from lots of different perspectives, like the business perspective. What are the best businesses doing that the, that the businesses that go bankrupt aren't doing? Well, they're, they're doing, in a lot of ways, the same things, but they're just doing a lot better. The fundamentals. The fundamentals are uh, what make the, differentiate the bad businesses from the good, differentiate the uh, bad athletes from the good. You know, it's just the fundamentals, but better. And the same thing in relationships. It's just like, you know, showing affection, as we've talked about before in the podcast, showing honesty, having integrity, uh, having, building trust, you know, and of course, doing these things on a consistent basis. It's like, okay, that's what builds a resilient relationship. That's what builds a strong relationship. And we've also seen that in our research as well. As you guys know, we have spent a lot of time doing research inside of the black community and knowing that like, yeah, there are certain pillars of relationships that when they're, when they're strengthened, the whole marriage strengthens and then everyone around them strengthens. Because I think that ultimately habits that we create for ourselves change our behaviors and our behaviors change our personality and our personality dictates our life to a certain extent. And if you can learn to create better habits in your relationship and your relationship then improves, then everything around you improves and it has this ripple effect. And so that ripples not only to the people immediately around you, but also your children, the habits that they take on and the, and the things that they express to their kids. So, you know, we're helping to reprogram our part of the, the universe when we start to change the way that we interact with our spouse and the way we think about our world. And it starts with just the fundamentals. So yeah, basic affection. And again, all this stuff is like, yeah, you can go to a counselor and you can get a good idea of how to communicate better with your spouse. But these are things that if we were all doing these things, we wouldn't need to be so stressed all the time because they're like kind of they're like no brainers but we need to be reminded and so yeah hopefully this speaks to the right person at the right time that's it for today on the podcast my friends if you enjoyed today's episode make sure to like and subscribe on whatever platform you're listening to us on and leave a review on apple or spotify please for the love of god uh because they really help us to spread the word of the show and to and to grow the mission here and as i always say love fiercely communicate openly and always find your way back to each other. Daniel, out.